So. Dan Wells is known as a risk taker. His small publishing house Biblioasis takes quirky books, often by unknown authors, all the way to big Canadian literary prizes like the Giller. But when a new novel by American writer Lucy Elman called Duck's Newburyport, all 1,000 pages of it crossed his desk, Wells was about to take the biggest risk of his career. My first gut feeling was this can't work. Right? I mean, you know, and I was, and I was a little scared of the size of it. For sure. The book's format is also unusual. It's written as one long sentence. Well, the book is a torrent of consciousness in the mind of an Ohio housewife as she bakes tarte tata uh, to pay for her cancer treatments and worries about everything. Uh, it's a novel about Trump's America. Wells and his editors wanted it badly, even though such a large book is expensive to print and ship. It is a work of, we think, absolute brilliance. And if we took our responsibilities seriously as publishers, we, we didn't really have a choice. So Biblioasis pursued the North American rights for Elman's book, even as other publishers, one after another, turned it down. They weren't persistent, yeah. And uh, that, that was beguiling. And they seemed to understand the book. And uh, nobody else in New York wanted it. Someone like... The Toronto Star books editor had her doubts when Dan Wells sent her a copy to review. I thought he was nuts. <laughs> did you? I did. I thought, oh my God, Dan, what are you doing this time? But I gave it to a reviewer and the reviewer loved it. As the book's critical acclaim grew, the small press in Windsor, Ontario, found itself ordering one batch of 10,000 copies after another. People who want to go to cocktail parties and say, hey, I actually read that, you're hearing about it, um, they're reading it. What I would do is I'd that word of mouth only grew as the book made the short list of The Booker, one of the biggest prizes in the English language. The book faces some stiff competition. Margaret Atwood and Salman Rushdie are also nominated. But you could say Biblioasis already won in spreading its reputation as the little publisher that could beyond Canadian borders. Deanna Sumanak-Johnson, CBC News, Toronto.